It is a silent killer of children. Hundreds have died or been seriously hurt by a product that is likely in your home. And Denver 7 investigator John Frugia has been talking to Colorado families who've lost children because of corded blinds and to those who were able to save their kids. Yeah. And John, this is absolutely preventable. You know, and it is. And these window blinds and shades are open and closed by those hanging cords. Now, millions of them are still produced and sold nationally, including here in Colorado. This is despite the fact that the cords have been blamed for the deaths of so many children, including little Daniel Sutton. Yes, I will come up to my world. He would sing, dance. Yes. He was quite a kid. And he was curious and active. So in 2010, when little Daniel seemed to be napping longer than usual, Andrea wasn't concerned. She and her daughter went to wake him. Ashley ran up ahead of me. By the time I came up the stairs, she was right in his face, and he was hanging from the cords in his room. Three-year-old Daniel apparently stood on his bed and stretched to grab the cord that Andrea says she thought was tucked out of reach. He had actually pulled the cord down, and once he pulled it down, there was a little wooden knot that did make two strings, and he had put that around his neck, and then I think he even wrapped it a little bit. He was probably just playing with it. Daniel Sutton died in his own bedroom. The product Daniel's parents blame for his death is still on the shelves in Colorado stores. The Denver 7 investigators went shopping with a child in tow, and we quickly found out why parents might choose blinds with cords over the safer, cordless alternative. It's price. For example, at Lowe's... So this one's cordless. Does it cost the same as the no, cordless? No, be more expensive. And at Home Depot... So it's almost twice as much uh -huh. well, because yes. it's cordless. It's safer. Uh -huh. We also found the corded blinds and the safer cordless version have the same warning label on the box. One of those products is safe for children and one is not, but you would never know that by looking at the box. Elliot Kay heads the Federal Consumer Product Safety Commission. He's pushing the industry to end the confusion for parents and simply stop making corded blinds. But manufacturers are fighting him. I don't know what the issue is other than greed. I really don't. They want to continue to sell the products that they feel like have a high profit margin. So I ran up the stairs and came and found him down on the floor here. Um, he had the blind cord wrapped around his neck. Ten years ago in Longmont, Matt Hollitzer went to check on his four-year-old son. Yeah, it was very tight around his neck and he was unconscious. Matt and his wife Leanne quickly loosened the cord. And then he instantly started breathing and instantly regained consciousness. Mason Hollitzer survived, suffering deep gashes on his neck. He is now 14 years old, and he remembers getting the idea from a scene in the movie Shrek. I just wanted to, like, swing from the ceiling, and I didn't know that I would just drop. Mason moved a small table to the window, climbed up, and unwrapped the cord from a cleat, a cleat the manufacturer claims can keep kids safe. He then wrapped the cord around his neck. I see the statistics, like, once a month a kid dies from this or gets hurt by it, and I don't know why no one's doing anything about it. They're just rolling the dice and taking what they can make in terms of profits, and in their mind, if a, children die, if a child dies, it's probably the parent's fault. Because the industry is resisting the ban, Kay went around it and put pressure on retailers, and he's seeing results. None of our boys are boys. IKEA and Target recently took all corded blinds off the shelves. This is the best chance we've had in decades of eliminating these unnecessary deaths. Unnecessary deaths like the unimaginable loss of Daniel Sutton. We had to make a pact with each other that we were going to get through this and neither one of us would take our lives because you think about it. But we have a daughter that we have to be there for. Our kids deeply loved each other. They were so close. It was a great life. Oh, my gosh, that is just heartbreaking. So, John, why are these still being sold? Well, that's really the question we wanted to ask manufacturer Hunter Douglas. Uh, hey, that, of course, has a company uh, in, uh, in Broomfield. Mm -hmm. Company officials declined to be interviewed, instead referring us to an industry lobby group. Now, it sent us a statement that reads in part, cordless products do not meet all the needs and desires of disparate customers, including the elderly and users with disabilities. The group claims it has reduced deaths, which continue through customer safety education. Even so now, 
Three more retailers are phasing out corded blinds in their stores. Walmart, Home Depot, and Lowe's plan to stop selling them mm -hmm. by 2018. Yeah. But of course, millions will still be in use. You, right. You've just got to be careful with kids around. Absolutely. Right. Huh. Good to know. Thank you, John. Right. Thanks, John. ABC's Brian Ross is also investigating this problem nationwide beginning tomorrow on Good Morning America. And tomorrow at 10, the Denver 7 investigators are asking why the safer blinds are so much more expensive. You'll hear from an expert who has analyzed these products piece by piece.